Okay, welcome to the ProBrick exclusive YouTube channel with Reverend Dr. Jason W. Morrison, theologist. I don't practice as a reverend anymore. I threw in the towel. I um, realized I didn't have the call or the patience for it. Guys, if you haven't already, subscribe, ring the bell. If you like the video, like, comment and share. And let's get this content out there. Um, let's see what's happening, guys. Doesn't sound real good. Yeah, this is like embarrassing as hell, but honestly, like, I don't give a damn. I feel like I'm about to be stood up. So, um, I have a date planned with this guy at 6, and it is 5.46 right now. So, I was already headed toward his area. He doesn't really, we don't text all day, which is cool with me, but, like, I FaceTimed him two times, um, like, 15 minutes ago, just, like, confirming, because I'm on the way right now and i haven't heard from him i did i did have a missed call from him at four no five sixteen and so i called him back twice like 10 minutes later and i haven't heard from him i texted him haven't heard from him so i just pulled over because i'm not about to keep driving if i don't know i'm about to meet up with you you know and it's raining this is the doubt see this is happening all the time to these girls they're getting stood up they're getting let down they're getting ran through and left behind they got zero value if you haven't seen our video on um post-mortem reset uh unresolve equals zero this is happening to a lot of these girls they're not resolving their issues they're going from one problem to the next they're medicated they're drugged they're on alcohol they're not finding their way out they think they're smart and clever but they're not they're just fools our scripture for today guys is a quick a fool is quick-tempered, but a wise person stays calm when insulted. Yeah, well, I wish we could practice that, but unfortunately we don't. I guess at the end of my last relationship, I did me block and um, told her to take her stuff and go, which I don't think was fully the right way to do it, but that's where they get you to. I'd had enough of it. Um, I begged for resolve and it wasn't going to happen. Um, but nevertheless, let's see what she does. I think so. I'm going to wait. I shouldn't even be waiting. I should just go home right now, but I'm going to wait until 6 o'clock. And if I don't hear from this man, I'm having a night in. I would usually turn this into like a solo day. Isn't that I crazy, say, man? Right, guys. guys, she's not a bad looking sort. Um, and this is the thing. Can you imagine being 50 year old or whatever, 30, 40, 50 year old, single mum? Um, you're coming at the end of, to the end of your life. You've been medicated most of your life. You possibly have smoked and taken drugs or whatever. Um, and if these young girls are getting stood up, man, I, honestly, I think a lot of people just get to, to the stage where they'll take whatever they can get. Um, most of them, if not all of them, have had good relationships and they've turned their back on it or they've been told to go because of their behavior. This isn't uncommon, guys. This is happening all the time. Guy, men are just getting tired of the way women behave, the way they get treated, the way women just dissolve into nothing in a relationship and quite frankly guys men have got so many other things that they can do you get these women saying oh are you codependent codependent on a woman you've got to be kidding and these days with all the malarkey that they bring with them you you couldn't you can't you can't if you're you know relying on women for um who you, to to make you feel good about yourself you're you're doing it all for the wrong reasons man talking about he forgot about this thing he had to go to so he has to so he's asking me if i can meet at eight mm, not really i feel like i'm i feel like that's kind of disrespectful so i did well, it is disrespectful guys it's not kind of disrespectful and these women she would have done this to plenty of guys right she would have done this to plenty of guys and now it's happening to her because as they get older, the less value they have. People's just not going to value that unless they've got some desperate turning up that just needs to, you know, get their rocks off for the night and then disappear back into the abyss and leave them in the abyss at zero. Um, this is what happens, guys, all the time. This is the land of limbo. This is where you don't want to end up. I did not end up going home. Um, I and exactly, hundred percent. Okay, she's she's going to stand by her stubbornness. She hasn't gone home. Life, and I feel like one thing always leads to another. 
place to another so i made reservations for one at a cute sushi place so i'm about to head there now yeah a date with the baddest bitch how how foolish and stupid and ignorant and blind are these people viewers honestly would you would you tolerate that I just go, man, I've got to get my life in order. I've got to get around the right people. And so this is her date. This is what she's ended up with. Well, yeah. Yeah, this is... It's really sad, guys. And it's, again, I keep saying it, but it's happening all the time. Um, and they're not learning anything. They're not, you know, every... See, look, people wonder why they've got no self-esteem and all the rest of it. I'm telling you, they've come out of good relationships. They've had everything handed to them on a plate. All they had to do was just go go along with the flow and, and accommodate the person that they're with. They can't even do that. They're juggling adult children and infants and they've got things in tow. They're split all over the place and they end up on their own. They end up sitting with their food. Oh, they think they're good cooks and all this other rubbish. But the things that really matter, they just don't get in order. They end up with nothing, medicated, on drugs on alcohol, um, they lack intimacy, they masturbate, um, they're chronic masturbators and they've got drawers full of toys and all this other stuff. I don't know what you blokes do. I, I, I just reserve myself until I find someone that's going to suit me. But yeah, it's a mess out there, guys. You've got to be really careful. You've got to keep yourself tuned and strong and fit and seeking wisdom, you know. Semen retention is a good thing, guys. Don't think spraying yourself everywhere is going to be doing you any good. You only share yourself with somebody that's going to empower you, not disempower you. And that's all that's happening out there. People are destroying each other left, right and centre. Honestly, guys, the level of self-denial now that people have got, they've practised unresolved for so long and denial for so long. They sit happy in situations where they've totally been rejected, they've totally been demoralized, they've totally been, you know, sold out to be worth nothing, left at zero, their d dating marketplace at zero, and they seem to make excuses for themselves. I got stood up on a date, not a bad looking girl. You guys, I'm like, okay, so I'm on a solo trip right now and I'm having a grand old time, but I just See had a See how she's trying to, she's in complete denial, right? I'm on a solo trip. I'm having a great old time. Oh yeah, sure. God, I'm like at dinner by myself, and everyone... I'm having dinner by myself. They're the key words, guys. These people are ending up on their own, and they think they're happy to do that. They're finding some kind of toxic denial, pride in it. You know, I'm managing really well on my. They're not. This shirt or a ball or eyes out later at home, and you don't see all the carnage that goes on behind the scenes. She would have had good relationships for sure, but she's bought into the um, the carousel, and now she's she's riding on the carousel on her own. Think fools. Uh, where's our a fool is quick tempered, but a wise person stays calm when insulted. Well, that's what this girl's doing in a way, but it's all superficial, isn't it? I've got a pretty short fuse. If you you know mess me around, I'm going to let you know. Um, and usually when you confront things, you'll find out what's really going on inside the person anyway. This is just superficial, toxic denial, guys. A couple of things. I got stood up on a date. It's like, how often do you see a 20-year-old girl like with makeup on, like looking get cute, like by herself? Just like dying. Guys, all the time. And see that face? That's what's going on underneath, right? She's just exposed herself. Right, could you imagine knowing that that could pop out at you at any tick of the clock? There's girls on their own, young, old, tw teens, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s that are getting stood up and left on their own everywhere. They're sitting with their pets, they're moddy coddling with their children, adult children as well. They're justifying themselves and they've all had good people in their lives. They've all had every opportunity to be settled, enjoy life just go to work and succeed. No, that's not good enough. They want to go out and play in the, in the zoo of dysfunction and harm and hurt. And here we go. How many girls my age that look like me would be stood up? Hundreds and thousands every, every week. Like never. I got stood up. Um, 
I got sort of, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, welcome to the real world. You See, this is what I keep saying to people. You're not as important as you think you are. If you don't put in the, if you, honestly, guys, look, this is the problem today. If you have a good relationship and you're building value towards each other and you're building things the right way, why would you want to sabotage that? Why would you want to, knowing what life can do to you, undermine that? Why would you want to put the person that you're with in a position where they look at you and they go, oh, look, I'm sorry, you just have to go. These people don't realize that you reset straight back to zero. That's where you go. As soon as you bugger it up, you're back at zero. And it's not a joke. It's not something to laugh about. This way of life just doesn't work, guys. It's not working for them. And guys, it's really, um, I know the scripture says, uh, what we're, the one that we're reading today, a fool is quick-tempered, but a wise person stays calm when insulted. Um, Possibly, possibly not. Uh, bullshit. <laughs> what is it? This is bullshit. The, see, she's not a bad looking bird. Um, but again, stood up on a date. It's happening all the time, guys. Now, again, not a bad looking lady, but I wouldn't say she's the sun shining first thing in the morning or anything. But dating after 50 is easy. It's like riding a bike. The bike is on fire and the ground is on fire. That doesn't sound real good, guys, does it? Everything is on fire because you are in hell. Well, I don't think you could describe that any better, could you? The dating situation today with the internet and everything is hell. And people just don't seem to care. They just seem to want to, you know, fuck everything up that they've got in a good relationship and go out there and mess around with um, people that couldn't care less. There's our, there's our video um, on zero. You need to watch that, guys. It's a brilliant video. Most single mothers default back to zero. Um, I fully recommend it if you can get your hands on that. It's on the channel. Um, stacks of other good stuff. Uh, zero dating marketplace value at reset. Also, don't forget, we've got um, postmortem, relationship postmortem, unresolved reward zero. And these people just seem to want to go back to zero and then they complain about it. It doesn't matter how hard you try or what you're doing. and They'll put you in a place of um, unresolved and then the next thing you know, you're kicking them to the curb and this, that and all the other and everybody's, there's just arms and legs and carnage everywhere and they go back to their default. This video is a brilliant video, man. Please, not my default. Um, you need to watch that. <clears throat> you'll find that a lot of people don't realize that this is going to come up against them. Um, we all have this place of default and unfortunately it just breaks people up. But this is what's going on, guys. The dating marketplace is hell. This is Reverend Dr. Jason W. Morrison on the ProBrick exclusive YouTube channel. Um, thank you for joining me, guys. If you haven't already, subscribe, ring the bell, like, comment and share. And we'll catch you on the next one.